we're making sugar cookies. Each batch of sugar cookies uses one and a half cups of sugar. If you make three batches, how many cups of sugar are you going to have to buy all together? Well, we can start by adding our one and a half cups plus one and a half plus one and a half that we're going to need for each of our batches. If we add those together, to give me four and a half. Another way we could do it would be to multiply three times one and a half since multiplication is another way to solve repeated addition. A lot of people try to multiply three times one and a half by simply multiplying our whole numbers together and dragging the fraction along. If we do that, three times one gives me three and then I keep my one half, I'd only get three and a half. We know that's not right because we can see we have four and a half cups total. So instead, we're going to have to change everything to an improper fraction. To multiply 3 by 1 and a half, I change 3 into an improper fraction by using 3 as my numerator and 1 as my denominator. That shows me I have 3 pieces worth 1 whole each. I then need to change my 1 and a half into an improper fraction by multiplying my denominator of 2 by my whole number of 1 and then adding my numerator of 1 to give me 3 halves. I can now multiply 3 over 1 times 3 over 2. 3 times 3 gives me 9. 1 times 2 gives me 2 to give me 9 halves. I can then change 9 halves to an improper fraction by dividing 9 by 2. 2 goes into 9 4 times with 1 left over to give me 4 and a half. We can see this is the same amount we got from measuring out the sugar that we had. So when I multiply by a whole number, I always make it into an improper fraction by using 1 as my denominator. To multiply a mixed number by a whole number, I first need to change them both to improper fractions. To change my mixed number into an improper fraction, I need to multiply my denominator times my whole number, so 3 times 1 gives me 3, and add those 3 pieces to the 2 I already have in the numerator. That'll give me a total of 5 pieces, and my denominator of 3 stays the same. We can change our whole number of 5 to an improper fraction. In order to change 5 into an improper fraction, I keep 5 as my numerator, and I use 1 as my denominator. 5 times 5 gives me 25. 3 times 1 gives me 3. 25 thirds is an improper fraction, so I can change that to a mixed number by dividing my numerator of 25 by my denominator of 3. 3 goes into 25 8 times. When I subtract my 24, I have 1 left over, and that remainder of 1 becomes my numerator with my denominator of 3 staying the same. So in lowest terms, my solution is going to be 8 and 1 third.